Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers chatted a bit with the wiz- with a powerful wizard north of Ite, and then were able to get transported down to Eol. So where we left off, you guys just got transported to the front gates of Eol. And when you get there, you're greeted with silence. You don't hear any noises besides the whistling of the wind and a howl from a wolf from far away. And as you look around, you see that there's no one around. There's not one person in sight. Not any of the guard towers are with have any people in them. The gate is open. You don't see anyone walking throughout the city. You don't really see any animals or anything anywhere nearby. And yeah, it is eerily silent and empty, pretty much. We're already too late. That's what I was afraid of. We. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. You sensed that he was moving west, right, from here? Yes. Okay. So I I fear he's headed for a cloth. Well, what do we do now? Do we head there? Uh, clearly he's already gotten to this place. No one's we, left. Well, we should investigate the town and see. If there's any survivors or anyone who r- remained hidden, right? That avoided being taken? Mm, yeah. There's always a chance. You make a good point. Okay. Um... I'll, I'll go to the entrance of the main gate, and I'll just look around the f- uh, on the ground to see if I can catch any steps, scratch marks, things like that. Uh, you don't find any what happened here. fresh footprints. You do find, like, a, a, you don't see any major instances of extra footprints just at the gate area. Okay. Uh, and as you look around, you don't, it doesn't seem like there's any damage to the city or any blood or anything like that. Nothing looks pristine yeah. still. Is it just yeah. everything's gone? Okay. Same as always. Um, well, I guess we should just start checking the homes, well, I suppose. Uh, Aylandel, you know the city quite well, don't you? I do. Do you know where anyone, if... Yeah, is there like maybe a, where, a safe house somewhere where we should check or um, hidden location? Yeah, hidden bunkers maybe dens. Uh do I know much about you? I feel like I, I assume you would have gone to you at least once. Yeah, especially regarding the history of uh, 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 the temple that was found here and the ship. You probably had visited the ship at least once. Yeah. Cause it's an anomaly. Yeah. There could be people hiding in the, the temple. Artemis may not know about the faux wall. Also, there is the ship. Maybe people evacuated there. I know they may not have much reaction time, but that's a, a best bet. We could check those locations. Okay. Uh, what about you? Aaron, uh, what about you? Any places you know of? No, let's just look around the city. See what we can find. Okay, so do we all want to head to the, the temple then first? Or the ships? The te- Both the temple and the ship are outside the city. The okay. temple is to the east, no, uh, northeast of the city. And it's like in uh, inside a hill. Okay. And then the ship is a bit further to the north, about a three or four hour hike. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give a run through, check some buildings, see if anyone's here. I doubt it. They're usually pretty thorough and when they take people. This is a big city. I mean, checking through the buildings will take a long time. Uh, I'm sure if we go down the main streets and if anyone sees us, I'm sure they'll... Or hears us, I'm sure they'll come to us. Can I have uh, uh, a little bit of Lovecraft? See if you can smell any footprints. Ah, uh, we left him behind. <laughs> 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 you didn't get teleported. He went with Ruben. Fuck off. Uh, you're trying to help try to have him find Track footprints? if there's anyone here or not. Like, any fresh... Fresh sense. Um, roll a survival check for him, please. Survival for him? Does he have keen senses? <laughs> he does. Oh, then you get advantage. Is it just advantage? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm going to double check. Keen senses is advantage on anything that requires um, smell. Or, or, uh, or hearing. Okay, I rolled a natural 20. Woo! A natural 20 and a 2. I will take the natural 20. Spicy. You sure, dude? I'm pretty sure. I'm feeling don't, confident about that one, really. Teams. Plus yes. my wisdom. One. Twenty-one. So he... 
kind of sniffs around, but he's not actually finding anything that seems fresh or not actually going any specific way. So you seem to feel as though no one at all is here. I don't think there's anyone in the city. Uh, let's make our way. I think our best bet is the temple. I doubt anyone would have gone all the way to the ship. Their first thought would have been, let's hide behind this faux wall, right? I mean, like, usually... If I don't know. I wouldn't expect this wall to not be real. I would also avoid a wall normally. <laughs> yeah, so oh, I'll, yeah, I'll tell you some history of Eel. I was so, in the, the history of Eel. Yes, yeah. that's right. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, so Eel was settled because they found a very significant temple there, which is about just a little bit west of the northwest of the city. And it's a temple dedicated to the goddess of joy of joy the god you worship which is named lyra lyra yeah yeah lyra lyra Lyra. Lyra. yeah and it seemed to be like thousands of years old and it was before it was seemingly created before anyone had moved or to taltania like before even avranches was settled and well, yeah, it was cool. a huge temple, and the entrance was hidden behind some brush and through an illusory wall. Sweet. So I would know. You would. Yeah. That was. Okay. Definitely. So that I that, that's definitely then I think yeah. where we want to head. Along the way, can I see if I spot any kind of shops, particularly magical? If you're going to the temple, there won't be any shops on the way, Good. just because it's of outside city. of the city. Yeah. I mean, we're passing through the city, though, right? No. no, you're I at the front gates of oh, Eel. Yeah. Uh, as you walk towards there, could you all roll perception checks? Oh, use my gust of wind dice for this. God damn it. Use... Oh yeah! <laughs> Dude, I'm going to use our inspiration. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> a dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Uh, uh, what what were we rolling? Perception. Oh, fuck. 6 plus 5, 11. Ugh. Ten. Ten. Uh, Theron, mm-hmm. you, on the way to this temple, you actually see if you notice a few dead ravens. And they seem like ravens that were probably carrying messages of some sort. Um, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just depart from the group. I won't say anything. Yeah. I'll just, I assume they'll watch me leave and I'll go to those ravens and see okay. if, they, if there's any messages near okay. them. Or in the surrounding area. So this first one has been dead for probably three or four days now. So it's looking bad. Yeah. And you do see that there is paper in its claw still. It seem, it's very worn because it's been out in the elements for four days. So just roll an investigation check if you want to try to read it. That's my fucking raven, dude. Yeah, I'll just uh, take my foot and not touch the bird, but just kick the message out and then pick it up and uh, that's a natural one <laughs> you're unable to read what the message says oh my god um Fern, right, what do you see over there um just a minute i've seemed to have found some uh messaging birds or ravens that that pe- that interests me um, yes, i said i'm interested there. i'll go check out the other that one sounds okay I fucking uh, love messenger birds uh, i recently sent four this way seems like it was shot i mean so you notice about these two birds that they seem to have been shot down. Like there's a markable actual arrow hole in them, both of them. Mm, okay. The second one seems like it's been dead about two or three days and is in slightly better condition. And you can you see that uh, there is a note in this one too. Um, okay. I'm going to walk over for where I was up to Farron and look okay. at these ones. Um. Have you read any? Any? Shoot! Have you read any of them yet? Uh, I tried to read this one and I'll hand it off to you, but I can't make any sense Bro, of it. I I'm gonna try to read it. Roll a investigation check with advantage on this one. Okay. This looks just like my dead bird. Uh, so that's a twelve, and that's a seventeen. You see your writing. No. This was the letter you sent to your mother. Oh. Um, uh, the other one, I'll just reach down and grab it and like 
pull it from its crispy little talons. Okay. <laughs> and I'll unfold it and try to read it. Okay, uh, roll investigation again. Oh boy, that's a six. Six. Uh, this one is, is, in, is in better condition, so you can roll with advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, the other day. That's a one. Okay, so six. <laughs> uh, again, you're unable to actually read what this note says. Farron's become 17 again. His <laughs> reading is not as good. Uh, uh, well, there's also this other one. I'll hand it off to you. Um, I'll, kind of, just like, I'll kind of grab it. Um, a little shaken, but I'll, I'll grab the other one. I'll try to okay. read it. Uh, let's see. Just need to look at the map for a sec. All good. Uh, roll with advantage again, please. Oh, okay, okay. It's, a dec- it's in decent condition, not the best, though. Okay, that's an investigation? Yep. Okay. Ooh, that's a nine. And that's a 14. You recognize this handwriting. It's your mom's handwriting. Ah, dude! It looks like uh, these I'm... birds here, they were uh, shot down. There's you arrows. see, you read this note, and it looks hastily written. It says... Shardana are attacking cities. Eol is taken. I love you. And draw one more perception check, please. Fuck, dude. Uh-oh. This sucks. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, uh, Lovecraft um, and I, I'm trying to teach him that trick where you, he stands up and places both his palms in mine and we dance. Nice. A cute dance move. I wrote a five. Five? Yeah, that's all you notice about this letter. Okay. Um... Am I able to figure out what went down here? Because my my uh, raven got shot down, yeah. but then she sent one. Also so then that must and it got tr- it looks like it got shot down. So then that means though that she... well, you sent some ravens at different times. So I'm assuming That's one true. raven made it to her, I guess and the other ones didn't, didn't make the it. Other one, but hmm, how would she have known where it was though? You said in your letter. I'm going to... But then she would have had the... Well, she didn't know where you were. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my telepathy to communicate with uh, Blaze over there. Mm -hmm. Telepathy? Yeah, I have that as a feat. Telepathy. Cool. All right. (laughs) Okay, listen up, uh, Lovecraft. Uh, Left. Hey. Right. One, two. Blaze. Oh, what the... What's (laughs) happening? Blaze, come find... I looked down at Lovecraft. (laughs) Are we communicating? (laughs) No, Blaze, you idiot. It's me, Farron. Look over here. Oh, I turn. <laughs> we found some messages. You might want to check them out. Okay. Um, um, you can't read them, and I'll run down. And Lovecraft will follow. Uh, is there one? Oh, <laughs> actually, you cannot read your mother's. Fuck you, dude. Oh, fuck you. You can't speak Fuck you. You, you recognize the handwriting, but you can't read it. Oh, my God, it isn't of it. No, you... Re- <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, well, uh, what, what do you need me to read? We found um, a couple of ravens shot down. They have some messages. Is it all elvish? Yeah. I can't read this. I, I can't speak elvish. You should give it to, uh, to, to, wow. Arendelle. Give it to Arendelle. He reads elvish, don't you? This is important. <laughs> yes. You have to read this. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, okay, what's it say? Well, the the first note is, uh, is mine that I sent to you when, I, when we were in... Uh, uh, where did I, where did I send that from? From Might. Was it from? Yeah, yeah. it was from Might. Well, um, the, from Might. Are they all just your letters then? Did your birds get shot down, or? I guess. Yeah, I guess it must have. Even though I picked the best raven out of the bunch. They did. They this have these the arrow holes in their bodies. Okay. I mean, um, it's unfortunate. I guess that means they never got our letters. The second one looks like it was sent uh, from the uh, the military captain from the town. What's it say? <laughs> It says, uh, <laughs> um, it says, would, would I have any idea? You don't speak uh, it. Anymore. You don't speak it, so you, yeah. no idea. He means, you, would you, he know what his mom would write? If it, if it looks like it's written with, like, with haste, then I'm like, would I be able to put together that maybe it was, like, quickly written? It's time to improv, yeah, bro. You would sense that it was quickly written, and you, you can read the name Aelendal, because it's similar in both sh- scripts. Okay. Um, but that's all. It just says that. Uh, I just like pull up, pull my wrist, tap on it like there's what? You okay? Time is of the essence. You can read this, right? Are you having trouble? Yes. Then what does it say? Come then on. read it, man. Stop messing with us. Um, it just says that the town was under attack. 
and I I'm gonna like just uh, I'm gonna fold that. both those up, but I'm just gonna put them in my okay my satchel, my bag, my pocket. Why are you keeping them? Just well, messages saying that the town was under attack. We yeah, are you that. are you feeling okay there, buddy? Why would you need it? Just in case we need it later. Are those the only two that there were? Those are the only one CC. Um, okay. Well, that was <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna head back up then toward. Uh, I mean, I keep thinking we have a cart still, but we don't. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, let's keep going then, you guys. Uh, yeah. Best not to waste any time. Uh, we'll check the temple now. How far <laughs> is the temple? Like, a... uh, it's another ten minute walk. Okay, it's not far then. And then when you do approach it, you do see one more raven on the dead on the ground. I sleuth. It seems like it shot down again. Okay. And there's a piece of paper still in its talons. Still in Elvish? Uh, this one is not, no. Oh, what is it? This one is in common. Common? Oh, uh, what does it say? Roll an investigation check, just because it's been lying there for two or three days. 11 plus... Four fifteen. Uh, you're able to read that this one says something on, on, along the lines of Shortana are attacking cities Eol is taken. Beware. Okay. And it, you read that it was sent to uh, who you recognize as the leader of Chun. It got sent to Chun. Yeah. Um... They were sending out letters, it seems, to, uh, to warn other cities that the Shodana are attacking. Uh, Eol is taken. I don't... Clearly the Shodana are one step ahead of them. And you... Shooting down the messaging uh, One other thing you're able to read is that it is from... Um, Quilena Delsenhaf. It's by uh, a woman named Quilena Delsenhaf. I don't would know, I know who that, that or is. Or actually... Would... Well, but would, would it be Delsnaf or Gakanodal? It would. It would be. Uh, no, it'd be the um, Gakandel because um, it's like that was just her name before. Okay, yeah. So it is from uh, Quelena Gakanodal. Do I know who that is? Have you ever told anyone your last name? I no, he's. I don't think I have something. actually. Uh, no. Maybe I don't know. I don't believe you have. No, wait. Uh, but I mean, would I just know who it is? Because isn't she like a commander here? Yeah. Uh, you, you're all a history, just to make sure. 12. Well, I think that's maybe, what plus but I think, I think it was you did it once ago. to You recognize the name, you just can't figure out where from. I feel like I know the name, it's on the... You figured someone important in Eel. Yeah. Uh, you, you're from here, right? Uh, right, Alendale? Do you know who uh, Quilena Gakundel is? Uh... Yeah, uh, she was a commander here. Okay. Someone of high ranks. Sounds like she didn't really get out, though. That's too bad. Uh, and then, uh, should we, should we check the temple then, still, or? Well, she's probably dead. Most I likely. <laughs> well, he doesn't really kill people. Oh, uh, was she well, very important? Because it seems he makes an example by killing the most important people in the city. Exactly. She was was this Gakandel, like, top tier shit, or? Uh, yeah, as, as far as I know. Cool, cool. She probably got beheaded. <laughs> That's, That's just a, my thoughts. It depends. I mean, we can go back and check the city on the way to Klau for any dead bodies of uh, Quill and Agakendal. Uh, That's true. I didn't get the sense that there was any. I mean, there was no carnage. True, but remember he tried to kill the king of Evranches. That's a good point, yeah. Because he resisted. Ah, but this commander is not a king. I know, but the leader tried to resist, so he made an example of him. Mm, and then Eolendel dutifully ran in to save the day and died. It was awesome. Great that's memories. Great. Good times. Uh, Very yeah. brave. Very brave. Very brave. Stupid, but brave. Uh, <laughs> and we make our way to the temple. Okay. I want to see. I'm just going to uh, peek take, my head in. I'll be in the back. I'll be behind the wall. I whisper that uh, Blaze is not worth the air he speaks. This is myself. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I don't know it's your mom. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Dude. <laughs> I'm on your side. As far as I know, you don't even know this chick. That's well. Fair. yeah. Uh, so you make your way to this temple, and the uh, two of you would know exactly how to enter and where the hidden brush is and where the illusory wall is. So the two of you could just, like, walk in and... And I'll show Farron. Yeah. I'll, I'll um, lead him through. I'll, and I'll remain out here. I'll keep watch. You don't want to come? 
and I'll look up at the temple. It's yeah, just a I'm wall. Fine. It's just like mountain wall. Yeah, it's just a hill you see. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. I'll leave Lovecraft out here with you. Okay. I'll take good care of him. <laughs> and what about Lazarus and Ryan? They just... Uh, they, oh, Ryan would definitely want to come in. Oh, yeah. He'll go in. Uh, yeah. Lazarus probably stay outside. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stay outside. Uh, I need to attune with nature. I'll come in. I love deities. <laughs> <laughs> and kids. Maybe there's something I can mend. What if there are children in there? They need my help. <laughs> yeah, not me. I'm a... I love my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play with some leaves. <laughs> And think about all the dragons we could have killed but didn't. <laughs> okay, Lazarus, have fun. Yeah, while I'm on That's all canon. Uh, <laughs> while I'm on watch, I'll just yeah. take out my staff and start like flinging firebolts around or like okay. way of frost and just trying to practice more with it. Baron, just cantrips? Yeah, just cantrips. Okay. Baron, I'm uh, trying to focus. <laughs> Can you not do that, please? <laughs> ah, well, tough cookies, okay? <laughs> I have this awesome staff. I'm going to use it. I need to get better with it if I'm ever going to take it into battle. All right. I'm not a fan of conflict, so I'll avoid conflict. All right. Well, then you might want to take two steps to the left. Actually, I realized I am a fan of conflict. (laughs) (laughs) And inside. (laughs) Yeah. So you guys enter this temple. You've been here multiple times throughout your life. And you've been here once or twice. Yeah. And it's this huge temple that spans the entire area underneath this large hill. And there are, like, pristine pews and a golden altar and all this really fancy religious entities and stuff like that. And you see that it's all dedicated to the goddess Elira. And as you look around it, seems to be like thousands upon thousands of years old you don't see anyone in this building can i investigate for any like hidden spots that someone might be hiding in sure i'm gonna look around as well um is 12 plus 416 uh as you look around any place that seems like it could be suspicious you like open this cupboard or open this pew the- <laughs> <laughs> It's a church. <laughs> uh, you open a different door or check behind a curtain and you don't find anyone. Check behind the giant Jesus cross. Nope. All right. I don't think there's anyone here, Arundel. I think we're out of luck. Damn. <laughs> Are you sure? I'll keep looking, by so. <laughs> <laughs> I just went don't pirate, yeah. They're small and they can hide easier. Yeah. <laughs> I look at all that dwarf side uh, hiding places. You close under the <laughs> Nope, there's no one here. <laughs> what if I cast heat metal and all the metal in here? Uh, uh, there's no one present. Um, I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna have my long sword out just in case. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna call out and just be like, "Hello, is anyone here?" And just to see if there's any, like, if anyone responds. It's safe! The shot down are gone! And just, both of your voices just echo a little bit and then just fade. I love my brother! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave then. I'm just gonna... Me, Blaze. Yeah. I'm three people now. Uh, I walk out and I uh, I join uh, Farron and uh, Lazarus. Okay. So did you find anything? No, just more disappointment. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Temples they usually provide disappointment. Why are there scorch marks all over the place? <laughs> what happened out here? Oh, I was just. We were gone away, for like, five minutes. I'll just flip my staff around a little bit. I was just testing out my new staff, getting accustomed to its. That's so ability. dangerous. Very flammable. You could have started a forest fire. We were right next to the woods. I was being careful. You see any fire started? I, I don't. see erratic, sporadically placed scorch marks, <laughs> and no fire to. Back him up. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. I'm careful. Can you guys please be quiet? I'm chewing leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys roll a perception check if you're outside, please? I would have gone out 
Okay. After a bit. I don't know. I have there's nothing in there that I need to look for. Well that's uh, a twenty four. Eleven. Uh you're probably just walking out to see oh. this. You see a raven flying above. How high? And it's flying towards eel. It's probably about 200 feet. Uh, my water whip cannot reach that high. Um, Do, uh, and it's heading to eel? Yeah. Uh, I turn around, I'm like, look, lively boys, there's a uh, raven up here. And I point out, I point it out, we have to hurry. We could catch it. Uh, Might be important. Um. <laughs> oh god no! <laughs> uh, do I don't do kill it. it now, too. Okay. Don't kill it though. Um, I'm gonna sheath my long sword and take out my metal longbow, and I think I'm gonna try to uh, pick it down off. Don't pick it down. We can just. I'm gonna blast what? it with ray of frost. I mean, can ray of frost reach 200 feet? Mm-hmm. Oh, 200 feet? Yeah. Yes, I will use extended spell. Okay, bro. Uh, just, just roll to it. Just let me. Or distance spell, I should say. Which will double. Bro, just let me. You're going to destroy the note. He saw it first, bro. Destroy the note. Oh, that's fine. That's not great. Um, that's nine. <laughs> that's not good. Fifteen. Fifteen. That hits. Plus six. And you take it down. Sweet. And it just falls down about a hundred feet away from where you guys are at. Oh my god. We're going to lose it. I got uh, it, guys. Can I try and keep track of it as it falls? Yeah. And running towards it? Yeah. I don't want to lose yeah, it. Yeah, you're able, e- easily you able to see where it is. Why don't you send dog... Dog, dog. I'm not, dog. I'm, not, I'm not a hunter. I'm not a hunter. I don't know. Love, this dog, love craft. Love craft. Love craft. Love craft. <laughs> uh, I I pick it up. Okay. Is it like just like a fucking icicle now? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, and you do see a note in its talons. Okay. Uh. I just walk. throw it against uh, something. Break the ice. No, we could break the thing. We have to <laughs> melt it normally. It'll take several hours. We must start a fire and hold it at a proper height. From oh, I, I could warm it up way faster than No, that. you'll just burn um, it, you psychopath. I walk up, I guess. Um, how much ice is there on, on around it? Uh, it was a decent hit, so it's pretty covered. Like, in order to actually get the note out, you'd have to, like, snap it out. I'll, I'll try and break the note okay. off okay. gently without fucking it up. Uh, just roll a dex check. I want to say... I wanted to like grab it and just <laughs> and break all the ice. That would have been cool. Whoa, dude. 25. That was, that was a wicked roll. You're able to easily just snap the note out of its cause without tearing the talons or anything. Oh, 24. Sorry, not 25. Still same thing. Okay, nice. Perfect. Um, And then I'll just try and melt it. Okay. I'll use... Uh, I don't have any fire things. I'll rub it. <laughs> okay. I'll rub it till it melts. Uh, with enough time, you're able to kind of get it soft enough so that you can actually unroll it. Okay. It is damp. Super damp. Fuck. Bro, you fuck. So, some of the writing is now a little bit run How, off. How's the note? I am trying to read it. You made it wet. Oh, did I? Okay. Uh, Good call, buddy. I will walk up and just cast Mending and hope, see if it'll... Mending. Apparently. I don't think Mending fixes writing. I don't know. Maybe it will. <laughs> I mean, that'd be yeah. freaking slick, but, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, no, it's just single break or tear. Yeah. Break or tear. Yeah, so there are places, as he enrolls it, that tore a little bit just because of how wet it was. Not so you're able to fix those spots, but it's still kind of difficult to read, so just mm-hmm. roll an investigation check. Farron, why would you do that? What? You wanted the bird. Oh, I could have shot it down with my longbow. Wait, I shot it one. first. It was so close to a 19. You have no Very idea whatsoever <laughs> what it says. Um, Damn it! Let me see if I can decipher it. Okay, it, it's literally just black ink splotches, though. <laughs> Baron can... fucked it up. I'm gonna try. For this one specifically, you can roll with advantage. Ooh, it's a gnomish. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's investigation, right? Yeah. Alright, here we go, baby. Nice. 16. Yeah. This is the <clears throat> note that you sent to the Lord of Eel from Eight. Oh my god, this is where we teleported. We jumped ahead of some of them. <laughs> Dude, it took him that long? Yeah. Can he read that? Didn't he write in Elvish? Uh, Did he write Elvish? <clears throat> you just said he wrote it, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like, well, because Eel is not full of just uh, just Elvish people. It's, it's mix, like right? 70% Elvish. Okay, um... No, I guess if it was like to the to the king, then I definitely would have. You just know, so, yeah, because then yeah. like, so then no one can like just shoot it down like we did and yeah. try to read it. 
So, um, but I recognize yeah, it, right? So you I'm recognize like, your writing, and then I'm like, you're pre- you, you, you remember what you wrote down on it. Oh, damn it. What? What is it? I'm like, <clears throat> this is the note that I wrote to the King of Evil when we were knights. Lord of Evil. Lord. Sorry. Lord of Evil when, I, when we were knights. Oh. And we just shot it down. Well, what I picked it? the best ravens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best raven was the one to your mother. That's, that's and true. that would have actually come just barely in time, possibly. Wow, good one, Gage. <laughs> this is <laughs> great. This is great. <laughs> As you see by how badly, I mean, how rotten the corpse of the bird, the first bird was. Is the raven dead? Yeah. Unfortunate. I'll just toss it in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Lived a good, fruitful life. Um, uh, all right, guys. I'm also gonna pocket that note. This is a series of disappointments. We might as well head down to the city, then make our way to Clouth. Yeah, that's fair. I'll go and I'll pick up the raven and put it in my pouch. (laughs) 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 It's just gonna, dude, it's gonna slowly melt. You're back to it all wet. Actually, I was thinking that'd be a great chew toy for Lovecraft. (laughs) Oh, oh, all right. I'll take it out and I'll just throw it at Lovecraft. <laughs> Lovecraft catches it in his mouth. Nice. Oh, he's a good boy. You're a good boy. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to head to the city and I would like to look for a magical shop, as okay. Ellis suggested, so I can find the book that I want to get. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you're able to enter the city. It is de- deathly quiet, except for the wind that's blowing just over the walls of the keep, uh, walls of the castle. Okay. And... Uh... You have a little bit of a tough time finding the magic shop just because you hadn't, you've only been here once or twice. Um, but you do eventually find it, oh. and you find that it's called the Elusive Raven. Oh, ironic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, uh, is the door locked or just? Uh, no. Okay, I no. S- slip my way in. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll browse. I'll, go, I'll join him. Are you coming with me? Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Uh, before we enter the town, am I able to slip off from everyone? Mm, interesting. I'm sure you can try. Where? There's like only well, we would us. probably roll, or it goes against well, our passive if perception. If we're all right? walking, and I just like take yeah, the it goes against our passive perception. Okay, my passive perception. Yeah, so you can roll a stealth check to try to get away. Wait, I got it. My passive what perception if... is fifteen. Mm. What if I? Mine's eleven. <laughs> As we were about to enter, because there's like kind of like a forest on the outside of it, right? Uh, like, is there like not not on the sand, because the sand is right near the port of the city. Because uh, okay. it's just it's a coastal city. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to stealth away. Right, because passive is ten plus your wisdom, ten plus your perception. Yeah. Basically, but I'm per- but proficient, so I add my proficiency bonus. In perception, like my total yeah. perception mode. Yeah. Okay, so then it's it is 10 fifteen. Plus your perception. So it is fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 the way I do it is you have to go one over. I, I would. I think that you would be able to sneak off because you're probably intent on going to this magic shop. And that's fair. Trying to look for where it is. Oh, that's Defender fine. wins. That definitely blows past. Oh me. my god! I just offhandedly rolled my die aside, and it was a nat twenty. <laughs> Damn it! I wish so you're it. able to slip off. Okay. Um, I'm gonna head from my house because it's okay. just on the outside of Yule. Okay. Um, I didn't really like initially set on what sign, so yeah. Um, but it wouldn't be too far out of town. Yep. But yep. I'm gonna head there. You're able to easily get to your house. Okay. And yeah. it seems like just almost the exact same as when you left it, and definitely exactly the same as when you saw it in the Af- when you were dead the second time. <laughs> the second time. Shacking the door. No, it wasn't even snitched. It was on Go- like Google Earth that you saw it. Yeah. Good times. Um, I guess, like, when I get close, I, uh, like, once I see it, I'm just, like, I kind of stop in my tracks a little bit, and I just kind of, um, 
I don't know what to think. It's been so long since I've been home, and then I'm also dead now. So uh, a lot is going on, uh, and I'm scared that I won't see my mom. So um, I kind of just stand there for a bit and just kind of stare at it and like try to take it all in. Okay. Um, and do you see that the garden is thriving? There are tons of vegetables and fruit and other plants and stuff all around the garden. Nice. Um, oh, man. Uh, I guess after a, a little while, I'll, like, uh, slowly approach the house, and then I'm going to try the door. Uh, the door, the door is lo- unlocked. Okay. I should have a house key as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just on my keychain. Um, I, like, open it very cautiously. Um, yeah. Just in fear that, like... I don't know, like, there's, like, someone in here that's not supposed to. Yeah, the door opens without a squeak. Your parents took really good care of this house. Well, I guess your mom, because I think I said that your dad died, yeah, even though he the... isn't, but... No, I think he is. I was looking at it again. I just haven't revisited, like, my background, and I did say he died, so... He is dead. Okay, sure. Anymore. I don't okay. know. Or... Because in the <laughs> backstory you gave me, uh, it was your grandfather who was dead, but your what? dad was still alive. My... Done? Uh... Yeah, because his grandfather oh. died in battle. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my apologies. Okay. It, you know, it'd be what it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, I guess I'm just going to, like, investigate. Look around. Um, I, like, keep an ear out to see if there's any, like, if I hear anyone or anything. Yeah. Yeah, you don't hear any anyone, and the only thing out of place in the house is that you notice is on your mother's writing writing desk. The ink is uh, spilled over, and a couple quills were just tossed wherever. Damn. So that's got to be from the notes. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the desk and see if I can find um, if she like. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can find anything, I guess, there. Okay. Uh, like, are you, are, is there anything specifically you're looking for? Um, I just wanna, I guess I just wanna see if, uh, she wrote anything else, or if there's any, like, um, yeah, if she was planning on writing anything else to anyone, cause I, I can't read the note that she yeah. sent me, I just yeah. know it was for me, so I'm just hoping to see if I will find anything that will kinda give me clues as, like, what the letter said, or if there was any other letters that were about to be sent that are maybe in common. Okay. Uh, maybe. Roll a an insight check, please. Okay. My insight, zero, and I rolled an 18. So 18. 18. Uh, you believe that she may have sent... If she sent, tried to send a... If she had tried to send a letter to... Uh, Chun, then she, you assume she probably tried to send some to Chun, and I mean to uh, Cloth, and possibly to one of the more northern towns too. Okay, like maybe Arist. Okay, I uh, I look around for any signs of um, recent, like um. Recent life, like I look to see if there's any like tracks or yeah. anything no- notable besides the the ink spilled over and everything. Yeah, no, you don't find anything else. Okay, um, I'm gonna go up to uh my old bedroom. Okay. Uh, yeah, you go around the corner through the hallway and 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 go to get to your door to your bedroom. And as you open it, you see that. Just left the exact same way that he left it when he left home. Your parents yeah. hadn't changed anything or made it into a sports room or um, <laughs> anything like that, movie room, anything like that. Nice. It's, it's the exact same as you left it, maybe just with fresh bedding. Damn, that's so long ago. Um, I kind of just, like, look at my things. Um, and I kind of, like, I sit on the bed for... A little bit and just kind of, um, yeah, just kind of like take everything in a little bit. Okay. It's kind of hard being back, um, 
Yeah. So I don't know if you want to. I don't know if you want to like switch to the other. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually switch that because at this point, you guys would have noticed that Aelindal is not actually with you anymore. Well, he is from here, so perhaps he had to check on his house or something. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's not like he's going to disappear on us. He'll come back. Yeah, I don't really see any reason to go looking for him, but why would he just travel off like that without well, saying anything? Anyways? He's never really told us much about his family life. Maybe he likes to keep his private stuff super private. That's a good point. Though I am a little worried about the guy. He was really kind of like pushing those letters aside like... Yeah, I don't think he was having a rough time today. I don't know. He looks upset or he keeps them in his pouch. He's you know, kind of shrugged them off. And he I don't just know. leaves now. Got to keep an eye on him. I think he's starting to get a little emotional about this whole thing. No, it is his city. So. And he's physically and spiritually tied to Artemis, so that could be stressful. He probably read some things he'd rather not have read. Yeah, so I must have. And he was pretty hush hush about them. But, uh,. Well, hopefully he returns, and hopefully he returns okay, not depressed. I don't want to deal with a depressing person. <laughs> Lazarus plays with the string of his bow. I could care less. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ryan says, I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of my brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go into this shop, though, the okay. elusive raven. Okay, and I'm gonna Duncan is going to hate us. Yeah. <laughs> you think I care? <laughs> all right. God, and I'm going to look at all of the books. Yeah. yeah, I'll go into uh, So, the majority of the books in this shop are, like, spell books, but empty spell books for people who are wanting to start learning uh, how to, like, be a wizard or cast spells and stuff like that. So, empty spell books, any scrolls? There are or, a few like, spell scrolls. Like, the wizarding for dummies uh, kind of thing? Uh, yeah, I guess there would be, like, a wizarding, wizarding for dummies or wizarding 101 or something like that. Okay, cool. I'm going to take the divination book. Okay. I'm going to uh, just scan around for any sort of gold trinkets, baubles. Okay. I've been lying around here. Find an iron flask. <laughs> uh, so there are a few trinkets that have magic imbued in them. So there's, like, a... Um, there's knockoffs of red ruby skulls, so they're not actually made of red ruby, but it looks like it, and they each have signs in front of them saying what they do. So one of them casts uh, Dancing Lights if you knock on it, another one just casts Light when you knock on it. Um, yeah, I'll take the Dancing Lights one. Okay. We can and, already have a dancing lights thing, though. And when you see these, you assume this is just knockoffs of the ruby skull from the that's in the museum right now. Yeah. Uh, souvenirs, basically. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm gonna take the empty divination book because I feel like that's interesting to me, and I'll also take the empty. One second, I should be looking at this. Now, is it like a necklace, the ruby skull, or is it just a ruby skull? Uh, just a ruby skull. Yep. But you do find a few necklaces with ruby skulls on them as well. Oh, okay. Do they do anything? Uh, you look at the signs and you find that one of them will... You know, just divination for me. If one of like... them says it's imbued with message, so you can imdu- like put a message into the skull itself. Um, yeah, uh, Farron will grab that necklace, put it in his pouch. Uh, anything I can see? Uh, is there anything specifically you're looking at? Uh, well, you said most of the books are empty. I want to see if there's anything that has, like, actual stuff in it. Like, maybe history magic, or maybe some spell books that have some spells in it, or maybe scrolls, or... Uh, just roll investigation. Okay. Fifteen plus... 419. 19. Uh, you're able to find one talking about the history of the Revivify spell, I think. And That's Shabbatah. Yeah. I already know that. I don't yeah. even take that book. <laughs> and then you also find a beginner's spell book with 
uh, just two spells in it, which is, uh, which is, as you look in, you see that the spells are light and mending. I will snatch that up. You know, this place has some interesting stuff in it. Yeah, I've always come. had an interest in magic, you know? It's cool, all the things you can do. It's nice that you get to choose your interest in magic. Um, but I found these, like, neat little ruby skulls. They look incredibly real. <laughs> those look incredibly fake. <laughs> uh, those look like they're... They might work? I don't know. Oh, um, but they work. They look like uh, copies of the skull in the museum nearby. So these aren't real? Those... Uh, I don't... Can I inv- see if they're real? Yeah, for sure. Roll investigation. Seven. Uh, plus four, so eleven. You're pretty sure it's fake because they wouldn't be selling actual ruby skulls in this place for very cheap. Totally real. Hundred <laughs> percent. Those are real. Treasure those forever. There was another one in the museum. Yeah, the the uh, much bigger, but uh, yeah, they found it on a uh, uh, that ship nearby. Do you know nothing of the old or? No, I've never been here. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure you may have heard rumors or something. I mean, there's a ship, like, in the middle of the woods in a clearing, not too far, a little north, more north than the temple we were just at. Um, they have festivals about it. It's a, a huge mystery. No one knows what it's for, why it's there. But they found a, a skull there that, uh, what does it do again? Uh, no one was actually act- able to figure out if it does anything. Oh, it just well, looks like a cr- uh, just like ruby skull. skull. It's a, a ruby skull, uh, another mystery. We don't really know what it does, but they know it's important, so they put it in the museum. Oh, well. You know, I might want to go check that out. That seems like a nice sight. That is a treasured artifact. I, You may look, but please don't steal it. I just want to have a glance at it. You're going to steal it? No. Oh. <laughs> that seems like a sight to see. Um, I'll, I'll waltz out of there. To I will the definitely accompany him. He needs to be babysat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll go back to Elendil. Nice. So you're just sitting in, in your room, kind of letting things. <laughs> kind of. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like the old days. <laughs> Still <real> got it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to crank them. <laughs> so you're just sitting on your bed, just trying to keep calm, trying to take in what's all happened here, and trying to stay calm about it and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. After I kind of sit there a little bit in my room, I'm gonna go to my parents room um and just kind of look in there okay uh you've of course you've been in this room before and most of it seems as you've seen it before the only difference is that for once the bed isn't actually made interesting um i go to like um i try to find my like my mom's like nightstand or like a like i I try to look for some like jewelry or something Yeah, uh, you're easily able to find whatever jewelry she wears. Um, Whether it's earrings, a necklace, a pendant. Uh, I want to take like a, a necklace okay. uh, of hers and I'm just going to like put it on. Um, yeah, so you're able to find a necklace. It's probably the the favorite one that you, you know she has or one of her favorites. Yeah. And it's a necklace with a, uh, with a emerald pendant on the very center of it. And it's actually, like, it's a pendant that opens up, and on the inside there's a small image of your family. Um, I'm gonna... Damn, yeah, I'm gonna take it, um... I'm gonna put it on, but I'm gonna, like, put it underneath, like, uh, my shirt and armor and stuff, so it's, like, not really seen. Um... Alright, um... I'm gonna check out uh the i'm gonna look to see if there's any like uh weapons around because i'm assuming like yeah. um we would have had like some sort of like armory or like an area yeah. for like for where we kept all of our weapons and things yeah so you do see the uh what which weapons are you proficient in and well you're proficient in most but what are the weapons yeah. you usually use i have a sword? i have a, a long my long sword that has um a 1d4 uh, necrotic damage. I have a metal longbow, a crossbow, the dagger. And those are like okay. my main. 
Okay, so you see it, you see your family longsword up top above the mantel place. And this is a longsword that's been in your family for generations. It's the one that your grandfather used in the battle against the humans. Good times. Um, and you also see the shield that he had used just below it and the crossbow. Or, no, not crossbow, just a longbow above it. Uh, I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to take them. Okay. Um, cause I, I like set up a, like I push over, uh, uh, whatever I need to, to yeah. reach it and I'm going to take the, yeah, I'm definitely going to take the, the sh- sword and the shield. So the sword is a plus two long sword. Okay. And the shield is just a regular shield. Okay. But it has your family crest upon it. Nice. Um, I'm gonna leave then my other because sh- I, I have a shield, but I'm gonna yeah. leave my other one behind. Okay. And then just replace it for that one. Um, I'm gonna sheath my uh, the the family long sword, and um, yeah, I don't think there's a lot else for me to do here. I'm gonna head uh to Ewell. Um, specifically, I want to go to like the um armory or like wherever okay uh, yeah. like more of an armor store or a blacksmith shop um well uh are there any buildings in you that were like the the their military or were there like yeah so you in the last hundred or so years it has been becoming a lot more military based so there's a lot of training and like most of the the, a ton of the main commanders in different cities are from Eol, just because of how much it's been military-based. Hell yeah. Uh, the main armor store is called the Gleaming Gauntlet, and it would be on the kind of more southeast side of the city. So somewhat near where you are. Okay. I want to go there, and I just want to see... Um... Cause I'm going to see if there's anyone there or, like, if I can, by chance, I'm out find me mum. Uh, me mum. Me mum. <laughs> no, she's uh, dead, bro. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go check. Yeah, I'm going to head into Yule then. Yeah. For it. Uh, I'll go back to these guys, then we'll talk okay. about that. So you are going to the museum? Mm-hmm. Okay, so My this is yeah. this is in almost the exact center of town. So you have to go through the main town square, and as you go through the main town square, can you please roll perception checks? Natural 20. Five. Uh, so you don't notice anything off about the city. What you notice is that there seem this seems to be a place where there's a conglomerate of footprints. And then you actually notice one part where there's a line, and then no footprints after that. I think I found where uh, the portal was open, and I, I, I pointed out and I guide him to like the footprints and then like the solid line, and then uh, I, do you feel any kind of magic? Uh, it looks like this is where they did the teleportation to the depths. Oh, um, well, uh, let me see. Um, now I'll just take my hands out and I'll just try and <laughs> see if I can sense any magic. Okay, uh, roll an arcana check. You also notice footprint, like a set, of, a few sets of footprints going towards the north gate. They seem to be about the same age as these, but it, you see probably like twenty pairs of footprints like branching off from the main path. Yeah, uh, I got a ten. Ten. Uh, you're not able to notice any traces of magic. I think it's safe to assume, though. But there are more uh, footprints heading in a different direction. Should we follow? Maybe, maybe somebody managed to escape or sneak away. That's a good point. Uh, all right. Well, which trail do we want to follow? This one that branches off from the others. I'm going to follow that one. Okay, it just goes north to the north gates. Yeah, the tail uh, behind. Yeah. yeah. Follow it. Does it like lead all the way out of town? Yeah. So you followed it, and it goes to the north gate, and then past the north gate, and it seems it's always the set of twenty pairs of uh, footprints. And it goes out the gate and keeps going north and. Six days later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how far you're following it. 
But as you walk through the city, you don't notice anyone else or any footprints going any other ways or anything like that. Lovecraft, does this smell like Shardana? <laughs> uh, can you roll an animal handling check, please? Two plus... <laughs> two, four. So... He's my best friend. When you say that he... Well, when you first say Lovecraft, his ears perk up and he wags his tail. And when you ask if he he thinks of Chardana or whatever you asked him, he just keeps staring at you with that, that blank look and his eyes wag his tail. We should not follow this path. <laughs> Let's head back to the museum. Yeah, let me try. I seem to be somewhat good with animals. Um, Lovecraft. <laughs> is this... A, the, and I'll like point to the footprints. Is this Chardana? Roll on and the handling, please. Uh, animal handling. That's a uh, eleven. Eleven. Uh, he still like, gives you somewhat of a blank look. He wow. seems he kind of tilts his head. Yeah, exactly. He tilts his head when he say Shardana, then tilts it tilts it the other way, and just <laughs> stays wagging his tail with a blank look. I think we're doing it just fine. Once, He's just really dumb. Once Alan, hey fuck. You take that back. Uh, once Aylandel gets back, we'll tell him about these. Maybe, possibly, they're escapees, or I'm assuming it looks pretty uniform. About twenty sets of footprints. Uh, I don't. I think they would have been caught easily. Maybe it's just a morning jogging group, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's head to the museum, though, bro. Let's let's look at this fucking statue. Yeah, I want to see a. I want to see the skull, bro. Okay, so you, uh, go back down this path, and you find your way to the museum, which is just a bit to the east, uh, west of the city center. Mm-hmm. And it's a very large museum because there's been a lot of findings in this area, whether it's from the temple or the ship itself. And you, uh, you're you able to open these uh, steel doors. And like the doors are designed with the... Uh, with different intricate designs of lira or lira symbols or other stuff like that. Do I do I know what those are? Uh, you can roll a religion check, please. Mm, that's seventeen. Yeah, so you, you definitely recognize this is the goddess lira, who is the goddess of joy. Oh, hold on. Why is there a goddess on this door? Lira's. Uh... Big deal here. That temple they found dedicated to her before they arrived. So naturally they sensed a great presence of her and it drew the attention of people who worship the goddess of joy and it's become a staple religion in the city. It's a huge deal. Most people in the city of Yule worship Lyra. No. Oh, I agree. Uh, I, Lyra, ooh, joy. What? Life is full of hardships. Come on, man. Like, Pick something a little more worthwhile, personally. That's how I feel. I'll go in hesitantly. Okay, yeah, so you enter this museum, and you see countless uh, artifacts. And then it, uh, you're able to walk all the way through, like, it's an open exhibit, pretty much. And in the very center, under, like, two or three cases of glass, you see this ruby skull. It looks the same size as some kind of humanoid skull, but it's made out of pure ruby. I'm going to go up to it. Okay. I'm going to watch intently. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to take my staff, uh, rest it on the, on the glass, and I'll crack my knuckles about, and I'll uh, begin just start scanning my hands over it. I want to see if I can sense any, any radiating magic. <laughs> I thought you were about to be like, and I smashed the glass. <laughs> Uh, rule and arcana check. Okay. Uh, 16. There's definitely some kind of magic, but you have no idea what it is. Nah. Alright, I'll just start rubbing my metal shin. So wait, wait a second. So this town has a ship. Or my brass chin. That's lost. So like, the lost ark. And now there's a crystal skull. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Oh my god. No, uh, I pull out my whip. <laughs> I would like to look for any kind of artifacts that match dagger daggers. Any kind of daggers that might be worth my while to like 
Barrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're. There is a weapon section of this museum. Mm-hmm. In it, there are different weapons from that were used in the war against humans, or that were used by uh, Lux Io, the founder of the city, mm-hmm. and a few of her other weapons and. You do find one dagger that, as you read about it, it it was apparently dug up here pretty early in the years of Eol, and no one knows where it came from. Okay. Um, any martial weapons? So, battle axe, flail, yeah. glaive, great axe, great sword, halberd, lance, long sword, maul, morning star, pike, rapier, scimitar, sword, sword, trident, war pick, warhammer, or whip. Yeah, uh, you see a few of these. So, one that catches your eye is a halberd, halberd, and it's got the designs of the house of Eol on it, on like both sides of the halberd. Right, it doesn't really fit my style. You also see a battle axe from yeah, one of the style. people, from a dwarf actually helped the help keep the city in. The hands of who was the lord of the city. Oh, okay. Um, that that's definitely not my style. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I'm going to take a look at that dagger. Give it a quick once over. See if there's anything again? special about it. Uh, it just seems like a very old dagger. It doesn't seem to be made of any special material. It right. definitely doesn't look like it was made for. Uh, from anything special or anything like that. That's fine. But it just seems extremely old. I won't take it then. Okay. I was looking for anything that like really stood out as like that might be a good replacement for one of my existing daggers, but that's fine. What was the goddess's name again? Lyra. Lyra. Yeah. I think it's L L I E R R A. L L Here I'll just look it up. Let's have it somewhere here. It's L Y R A, pretty sure. No, there's no Y in it. Uh, fuck, where, where is it? Oh, L-L-I-I-R-A. Is there uh, anything else you guys are looking at in this museum? I'm just gonna grab my staff and make an exit. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for daggers or glaives, so we're good. I'll head out. Okay. I'll go back to you, Ail Rendell. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna head um, to that armory. Yeah. <clears throat> in hopes that I can find something or someone. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna head there. Okay. Uh, yeah, you enter this armor shop, and a part of you assumes that uh, Gork, the owner of the shop, is going to be there. So yeah. when you open the door and no one's in it, it's a little bit disappointing because. Okay. You always enjoyed chatting with this bugbear. Seems but, like a nice guy. But he's not there. No, Gork. Gork, dude. He's dead, too. Gork is gone. Gone, Gork. <laughs> gork, Gork. <laughs> and so you enter this weapon shop, and there are, there's a bunch of armor on, the, on different uh, statues, or, no, mannequins. And then... Bunch of shields on the wall, swords on the walls, a place for bows and arrows and stuff like that. Nice. Um, is there any notable armor? Uh, roll an investigation check. I will. Uh, oh, let's roll this one. Uh, uh, <laughs> investigation? Yep. Uh, six. Six? Yep. Ooh. On your first look around, you don't actually see anything special at all. Can you roll an insight check for me? All right, back at it again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, the three. I'll, I'll give you advantage on this one just because <laughs> you are from Eel. Okay. Roll again. I pretty got it. <laughs> an eight. <laughs> Eight total? Yes! I have a zero. Has he been to this store before? Yeah. Oh, like lots of times? So, 
So being with all this trauma you're going through about seeing your entire city empty and not seeing your parents and not seeing Gork, your beloved friend Bugbear who runs the shop, you're not thinking exactly right, so you're not able to actually find anything special. Okay. Uh, but there's like, so I don't see any of like the, any decent armor? Uh, all of it is good armor. It's just not anything extra special. What kind of armor? Uh, pretty much any kind you could want besides adamantium or okay. anything magical. Um, so like there's some plate mail, some chain mail, um, leather armor, high armor, breastplate, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I would, I would definitely, I, I, I would kind of want to take some, like a, uh, breastplate. Okay. If that's cool. Yeah, you're able to. Sick. Because all I have right now is leather, so... Hey. Um, and you're just stealing it? You know, we, I, we gotta rescue this town. I'm I'm from here, I'm sure. You're really gonna understand. steal from Gork the bugbear? He'll understand. <laughs> I'll, I'll return it after, maybe. Poor fucking Gork, bro. <laughs> Dude. It's alright. Gork will be okay. Yeah, so you're able to take a breastplate. Okay. Awesome. Um... I, I I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna look for the others then. Okay. Um, if there's if there's nowhere else in town that I think I should go. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just find the others. Um, where I guess where were we headed when I when I dipped? They were going. They to were the, just entering the city gates when you did. We did mention we were heading for the shop, the yep. magic shop. Okay, I'm gonna go to the magic shop then. Okay, it helps to find them. So this is to the. About halfway between the city gates and the center of the city, and then to the w- east a little bit, uh, you're easily able to find your way there, and you don't find them in the shop at all. Oh, okay. Um, I guess. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to walk around, maybe kind of investigate a little bit, see if I can find them at all. Okay. Uh, I'd say you're pretty easily able to find them because there's no other noise in the city. So you're able to kind of find uh, here when they're chatting and find your way there. Sweet. And that's where we'll end this episode of A Deal with Demons. Wow. Yes. Exciting.